Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy Friday, everyone. Take a look at that clear sky. Many of us still sitting in the dark, though. Uh, this is the view from Big Sur, where it's going to be a lovely day uh, all around the Central Coast for today with a clear sky. That means cold conditions, though, to start. Grab your coat. Uh, it is going to be a chilly one throughout the t this morning, tomorrow morning, pretty much all weekend long. Uh, feeling like 37 degrees where there's a little breeze. A little breeze presents frost, uh, prevents frost formation, uh, but a lot of our valleys do not have that. And uh, temperatures are in the mid-30s, and we are seeing some frost in some areas up in the Santa Cruz Mountains as well as our inland valleys. South County seeing temperatures hovering around that uh, frost mark and then also some near freezing temperatures earlier now 37 degrees for Bradley and San Ardo. Uh, taking a look at the rest of the state freezing conditions uh, up at Lake Tahoe where now we are at 100% of where we should be for snowpack for this time of year and that is just music to our ears. Uh, we like to see that. It is going to be dry the next few days so there will be some snow melt but nothing major because it won't be too hot. Uh, 36 degrees for this afternoon in Lake Tahoe so still pretty chilly that snowpack keeps it cold during the day and especially at night. Rest of the state seeing temperatures near and below average. 58 for Monterey. Typically we're in the low 60s this time of year. We're going to get closer to that tomorrow. May have a few more 60s on the central coast, but for the most part, still chilly. Down south, some 60s as well. Here's why. We still have that cold air mass over us, so as much sunshine as we receive, uh, we're still going to have some chilly conditions. Starting to warm up a little bit. You can see some of that uh, mild air. I'm not even going to call it warm air from the south trying to come up, but that's soon going to get replaced by the next system that's going to bring chilly conditions. You notice the lack of the light blue shades, though. That last system did have more of that. That's why we had snowfall even on our local uh, mountains. But as you watch the system, that cold air stays over the ocean. We're going to get moisture. It looks like a moderate atmospheric river could set up in some areas late this week. Will that be positioned over us? That's something we're watching. Uh, but again, you notice that cold air is off towards the west and the north for uh, the middle of the week. Then that may meander over uh, and give us more chances of colder conditions and more chances of rain. And that's for Friday, your Christmas Eve, into Christmas Day. Uh, I know some people may not uh, want that for travel, but we're grateful to have the rain. So uh, hopefully we can all appreciate that, even if it does fall on the holiday. So stay tuned with that forecast, especially if you are traveling next week, because rain is going to be possible off and on uh, beginning late Monday and through the holiday weekend.